Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to knock out lesson one. Lesson one is to add libraries and open serial monitor. Libraries are just a collection of code that make it easy for you to connect a sensor, display, module, etc. They also give a pretty neat example. The built-in uh, liquid crystal library makes it easy to talk to character LCD displays. Another example would be a uh, temperature component that you may have purchased externally uh, and you wanted to utilize that with your Arduino. You would download a separate library online if there if there is one hopefully there is one because uh, it makes it life a heck of a lot easier when programming <clears throat> okay now moving on we're going to learn how to quickly install a library using the library manager so this is the arduino application right over here we're going to select sketch include library manage libraries and library manager will now populate with a list of available libraries to install if you're looking for a specific one, you can type in the name uh, in the search box. You can search through topic or you can search through type. Okay, so we're gonna talk about importing a zip library now. So let's just say you went to library manager, you went to go look for your specific library, you can't find it, you're pissed off, you go to GitHub. GitHub, there's a guy who's like, yo, I have it, I got the good stuff. And uh, so you download that library instead you want to get it on the Arduino application and you're like, how the hell do I do this? So <laughs> you click sketch, you click include library, you go over to add zip library. And now you look for the, uh, the GitHub zip that you uh, just installed. And then you select that and boom, it's unpacked, unzipped and ready to go. Okay. So now I'm going to go over Arduino serial monitor. Serial monitor is used for two main purposes. The first main purpose, uh, is to collect data from the Arduino in real time so you can monitor and debug if necessary. And then the second purpose would be to send PC commands uh, to the Arduino. Uh, now to make a connection, uh, you would want to select tools, port, and then uh, if you have an Arduino connected, there will be another one, it won't be COM1. Uh, there's actually an image right over here that goes over that, yep, right over here. So uh, tools, port, com 26 and then you should see something like this populate and then it goes over how the uh, serial monitor has limited settings but enough to handle most of your serial communication needs uh 9600 bouts just means 9600 bits per second all right cool so that was just a quick breakdown of lesson one if anyone has any thoughts ideas or remarks please feel free to comment if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe uh, i'll be moving on to lesson two blink shortly um Okay, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.